Hello, I'm Leia. I'm a master gardener here at the Harvest for the Hungry Habitat Garden. And I'm going to talk about a wonderful plant today that really supports monarch butterflies. So I'm going to encourage you to support the plant by having several varieties of it in your yard. Uh, it's milkweed, Asclepius fascicularis. And we're going to look particularly at narrow leaf milkweed today, although monarch butterflies and lots of other native bees and all sorts of insects like all milkweeds. But this one's very common in California, throughout California. And we're here in late June, so it's got beautiful pink-white blossoms that are going to really support a lot of insects with nectar. So that's a really important reason to have milkweed. So let me tell you about this wonderful plant. It's narrow-leaf milkweed and it's found all over California. It has these elegant thin uh, leaves and it gets about three feet high. The flower in late June is kind of a, a, a pink white, although some of them are more purple. And it spreads easily, which is a great thing because the more you have in your garden, the more insects that you're gonna be able to support. In the fall, it kind of gets dry and turns brown, but you want to leave the stalks up because birds like them for nest building. And then in the winter, it dies down. And in fact, you may forget where it is because there won't be a trace of it. And then in early spring, you'll see it starting to come back again, maybe in a few new places. And it, 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 it blossoms from there. In spring and fall, you may find that milkweed draws a lot of aphids, little yellow aphids. And I made a mistake my first year and washed them off, but everybody said, no, no, don't do that because the ladybugs and other beneficial insects are now going to arrive and they're going to take care of those aphids. So milkweed draws a lot of beneficials to your garden. The monarch butterfly needs this plant urgently because it's really the principal place that monarchs lay their eggs and it's where the larvae first come to life and they really need the kind of gummy sap that's inside the milkweed plant because it's rather toxic and it makes the caterpillars toxic, which means that birds leave them alone, which means that we get butterflies from those caterpillars. So it's a really important plant to have and it's a beautiful plant. Because of the die down, you might wanna put other things in front of it that are a little more beautiful in the fall, but plant it, enjoy it, happy gardening. See you next time.